What's up, guys? <clears throat> your boy TOJ, the Opinion Junkie. Welcome to the channel. Hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're going to subscribe, hit that alert bell. <clears throat> Give me a like. Um, don't forget to check out the links in the description. So let's jump into the content because I know y'all. This is what y'all hit the video for. So <clears throat> Lil Nas X is just the beginning, y'all. Okay, but here's the thing. What's happening in hip hop? This is the end result. It was always going to head this way, whether y'all know it or not. Okay, I'm looking at what happened with Lil Nas X with him putting out that that nasty ass video of him giving the devil a blowjob and him get, letting the devil hit him from the back. That's just the beginning. I said that a couple of years ago when the Old Town Road came out. I said, I tell you, when once Lil Nas X came out as gay, I said, I guarantee you. That dude going to take what Billy Porter tried to do to the nuclear bomb level. And Lil Nas X kept on trying to, like, be funny by saying, well, all my life, y'all told me I was going to go to hell. Let me tell you something. Luther Vandross probably heard the same thing. Boy George probably heard the same thing. George Michael probably heard the same thing. But none of these dudes literally went out and did all that sick-ass shit that Lil Nas X did with them with them satanic shoes and you know him being like extra moist. You can express yourself. Get a boy. I got a cousin right now walking around with high heels and shit on. And I told him, I said, bruh, my, my one of my little gay cousins, he only like thug niggas. And I said, one of them dudes gonna kill your ass, bruh. Because them thug dudes, them hyper masculine niggas, y'all be going after what they call trade. Them trade niggas will kill you. You're fresh out of jail. They want you to keep their business quiet, but you got to be the loud mouth. You got to be twerking and all the other dumb shit. And we're going to find you dead. But Mr. O, o Evil Rico, you a hater. But that's his life. Let him live that. As far as this little Nas X dude is concerned, your sexuality shouldn't be nobody's business. You come out as gay, cool. Continue to make good music, if you want to call it that. But this sick, this sick shit, this demonology... This is weaponized against the black community. I'm going to tell you why. If you look at what's happening this year in 2021, we flipped an election. We have the police on the ropes for the first time as a grown man. It's a seesaw tug of war between the police, the police unions, Black Lives Matter, and us literally getting legislation changed okay biden just signed something i don't think he got he completely got rid of um um oh my god qualified immunity but i'm telling you if you look at pop smoke triple x uh, tentacion juice world and all these other young rappers that's in the same genre as lil nas x all these dudes have um demonology and symbology and symbolism in their music okay remember um murder on my mind wake up in the morning i got murder on my mind all them dudes got that devil worship and shit where they got they bathing themselves in blood and all that other dumb shit and you wonder why these young dudes is carjacking old women killing each other for fucking stimulus checks 13 years old, 14 years old, two black girls just got arrested yesterday for carjacking and killing a fucking Uber Eats driver. The dude trying to make a living, gone, forever. They stabbed a girl to pieces in Walmart. Young black chicks. And you think this shit is a joke? It ain't no coincidence to me. I'm woke. My eyes been wide awoke since I fucking came across um Professor Griff. Professor Griff... Khalid Muhammad, Umar, some Tariq, you know, um, and a couple of other elders who, um, Jason Black, all them do all the other stuff, you know, um, a couple of the other guys' names um escape me. But I've been been following that that trend. And I noticed that ever since Bone Thugs and Harmony was doing that uh East 99 Eternal, like, you know, Mr. Ouija and all that other shit, and I started looking at Brother Lynch and Tech Nine, I said, Oh shit, here we go. Everybody wants to be the most evil and darkest nigga with a microphone. I'm darker than triple six and all. And now, 
People think that this devil worship is a joke because every time I've learned from the scholars and the elders that every time the industry weaponizes and uses something against us, it's always introduced as a as a, a troll or a joke. Give me a second. <clears throat> you hear him say, nah, that's just youngsters having fun. But you're looking at all these videos, these dudes smoking mad weed, they're on pills, they're on drugs. Two black dudes just went to Miami and raped a girl, ran a train on a white chick and killed her. And she overdosed and they found her dead in a room. That's You can look at their mugshot and see evil. A dude just killed shit four people over a stimulus check. And, and looking at his face, he's sitting there like, I, I don't know how I got here. Uh, uh, I don't know what happened. It's music. You can sit there and, and think I'm joking. And yeah, I mean, you can't blame that shit on white folks. But, I, but here's the thing. These rappers make a conscious choice to put that shit out there. You can sit there and say I sold he sold his soul for 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 um for uh for an album deal. I, I don't know what the hell he sold. But he's selling out the black community. That's a that that's that's a, that's a fact. As you guys call it facts. It ain't no surprise why these young girls are running around gutting each other's out. I mean, gutting each other out. These girls are ratchet. They savage. Like Meg Thee Stallion. Okay? They getting that money. Like Cardi B. All these young chicks. All the future daughters are, are going to be mothers of somebody 25 years from now. And I, I'm 47 years old. So I think I'll be alive to see what the Cardi B's of the future going to look like. And it won't be good. They'll be more violent and less intelligent. <laughs> if you want to call it that. You want to call what Cardi B them, you know, are intelligent now. Okay, I just seen Maxine Waters just endorse that. And as far as weaponiz weaponization is concerned, look at what's going on with the uh anti with the black black versus Asian thing. They just created a whole beef out of thin air. Because we flipped an election. We flipped a fucking election so much so that in Georgia, the Republicans have now made it illegal to give a nigga some water. And if it's burning, and Georgia gets pissy hot. I'm in New Orleans. It it be roasting out there um, in them streets. So you take into consideration, bro, that you can out there, you can be out there in a line waiting to vote, and they're gonna have as minimal machines as possible to make you angry enough to get mad and leave and not vote. And I'm not saying voting is not the end all be all, but there's a reason the Republicans went into the uh, into the uh, governor's uh, mansion. And lock that fucking door and sign that piece of paper and got the woman arrested. Okay, they know what they're doing. As far as the police unions are concerned, Biden just signed something where they're trying to get rid of qualified immunity. And the industry is like, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all wasn't supposed to be like this, this organized. Release Nas X in the, the dick sucking video. You know what I'm saying now? Y'all can call that shit a troll. But you don't sit there and produce a um, produce a pair of shoes with human blood and call them Satan shoes. Not in our community. I'm not a Christian, but I believe in a higher power. And you think this shit is a joke? It's cute? Them shoes are very expensive. And I'm trying to figure out where the hell they found the blood at to put on them shoes. And they say, oh, y'all y'all old niggas, man. Y'all just hating on the young generation. I just had a friend of mine on Facebook, black chick. But she kind of like into anime and shit. She was like, yeah, bro, that's why I fucked with Lil Nas X, you did, because he don't care what y'all, he don't care what y'all think about him. I said, bro, Prince didn't give a fuck when nobody thought of Prince did not care. Prince was like, what, five foot even, if that, walking around with high heels on, but Prince was smashing mad women. He wasn't a dope head, even if he was, he may have been like, and I heard, I heard Prince was like a, a health nut, okay? But here's the thing, Prince wasn't out there, you know, like, you know, doing all that weed. He may, he may have like screwed a guitar and, and humped the stage. But Prince wasn't was a homosexual. You know what I'm saying now? Uh, that was Prince and Prince only. That was his only little stupid gimmick. Lil Nas X ain't got no gimmick. Okay? I I'm sick of this shit, y'all. I'm telling you, bro. You can sit there and pretend it's a joke. That I'm being homophobic. Because that's the first thing people always say. Oh, oh homophobia. But I'm going to tell you something. I'll even go further. Look at all the white gay people. They don't they they not they don't do that dumb shit. You better ask Michael Sam. Michael Sam was that black dude 
who played for the Rams came out as gay and it's always us. I told a black chick, the same black girl say, I love Lil Nas X. I fucks with him. He's a leader. A leader of what? A, a, a weirdo shit? Michael Sam said when he was, when his career went belly up, the gay community was like, we don't need you now. <laughs> you ain't got no, uh, no currency. So he said, I'm out there. I can't find a job. No NFL team will sign me. So I did. I made an ass out of myself and did all that for nothing. Dwayne Wade and his son, you think that's going to end well for that little boy, Zaya, or whatever his name is? I'm telling y'all, bro, before I let this chant, before I let this video go, the only sad thing about being a visionary is that you see the train wreck before everybody else do. And it's a lonely way to live. And I'm telling you, I've seen this shit coming since Bone Thugs started off with that Ouija board bullshit. I just watch every video in the black community as, as it relates to rap get more and more demonic to even to the point where now r&b the words i love you ain't even in r&b no more and it's coming lot little Nas x is just the beginning the person after him gonna be worse 